Hey there, future engineers, got three minutes? Let's turn that into a masterclass on designing structural columns. Ready? Let's dive in. First things first, what is a structural column? Think of it as the backbone of any building. Columns support loads from the roof, floors, and walls, distributing them safely down to the foundation. Without them, well, your building wouldn't stand a chance. Now there are several types of columns, reinforced concrete, steel, composite, and even timber, each with its own set of strengths and ideal use cases. But for today, let's stick with reinforced concrete columns, the unsung heroes of most modern structures. Step one in designing a column is understanding the load it needs to bear. Imagine you're stacking books on a shelf. The more books, the stronger your shelf needs to be, right? Similarly, a column must be designed to handle the loads it's expected to support. This includes dead loads, like the weight of the structure itself, and live loads. Think people, furniture, and anything that moves within the space. Next up is material selection. Concrete and steel are a classic combo. Concrete handles compression like a champ, while steel reinforcement takes care of tension. When these two come together, it's like peanut butter and jelly, a perfect match. All right, on to the nitty gritty, sizing your column. The size of your column is crucial. Too small and it might fail, too large and you're just wasting materials. Use design codes like the ACI, American Concrete Institute, or Eurocode to determine the right dimensions. Reinforcement is next. Think of the steel bars as the skeleton of your column. These bars need to be placed correctly to handle the tensile forces. Spacing and diameter of the bars are usually specified in the design codes. Don't forget stirrups. These are smaller bars wrapped around the main bars to prevent buckling. Cover thickness is also key. This is the distance between the outer surface of the concrete and the reinforcement bars. Proper cover protects the steel from corrosion and fire. Usually a minimum cover of 40 mm is recommended. Finally, always double check your work. Use software tools like eTabs or STAD Pro for analysis and design. These tools help simulate real world conditions, ensuring your design is safe and efficient. And there you have it. From understanding loads to choosing materials, sizing and reinforcement, you now have a solid foundation in structural column design. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep honing those skills. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more quick engineering tips. Until next time, keep building your dreams.